we share universal language in open intelligence where you know whether we understand english or not or swedish or not there's such a beautiful connection between all of us and the common ground between all of us is open intelligence our intelligence is vast and wide and it's not limited to a set of ideas of identity stuck in a skin line so i come from all kinds of different cultures and you come from all different kinds of cultures but what we really want to do and what we really want to be is to live a life of stability a life of satisfaction of flourishing a life that is aimed and dedicated to the benefit of all and the benefit of all is a big term but it it makes complete sense how can we take care of ourselves each other and the planet and and that's just the basic wish for each one of us whether we know it or not and i know that this was my driving force also before meeting balance view but there were so many things along the way that i couldn't really manage and i couldn't micromanage so and i tried really hard to reach to a point where i feel good about myself and stable and confident and happy 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 yet my thoughts emotions sensations and other experiences they've been and are still wild and unpredictable you know that you you are now in a lecture and you're supposed to think attentive thoughts <laughs> I like it or I don't like it. But then suddenly you think about all kinds of things, right? Like buttons in your shirt or you know, the strange painting on the ceiling or the plane that was just flying and now thoughts and emotions and sensations they are constantly changing and to try to arrange them into a beautiful picture, a serene picture of just positive nice and calm thoughts and emotions we are doomed to fail which means we will fail trying to do that and i know from my experience uh for many years when i tried to do that by all kinds of things and means like analyzing myself digging so much i hoped i find something but i found only more and more thoughts and emotions that i need to solve and more books that i need to read to resolve the complexion that was growing and then don't get me wrong like i didn't have like a horrible life a perfect life but uh it was also limited the glass ceiling how can i break through the glass ceiling of my own my own, that i i put on myself the limitations that i put on myself So when I met the training it was very refreshing to know that my intelligence your intelligence our intelligence is open and vast and if we stop thinking for a moment we can see what remains a sense of alertness of openness of cognizance the ability to know remains this is open intelligence and it's vast and open like a clear blue sky i mean in stockholm you have beautiful sky clear blue sky no edges no corners and that's just in itself you know the direct introduction to the nature of our intelligence is very refreshing because we know and then balance view provides the the simple tools and means of how we can train up this instinctive recognition and gain confidence in that like gaining confidence in learning a language for example I try to learn Swedish not really but you know or let's take something that is a bit more related to my own experience um riding a bike I in the beginning we try and we fall but through repetition and through the support and empowerment of those who went before us we can then learn to ride a bike and the same with anything else brushing our teeth um tying our shoes things that are now automatic before they weren't automatic they weren't obvious and uh, same with the in- instinctive recognition of open intelligence so simple so we stop thinking for a moment and we saw what remains we see what remains open intelligence it is yours and it is mine it's not someone's keeping it away from you or 
It's not a state somewhere in the future. It's what's looking through your eyes right now, what's listening. This is the open intelligence that we are speaking about. And then through short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, open intelligence become continuous. So you think about the buttons in your shirt, you can relax and allow it to be as it is. You think about the horrible state that the world is in right now, you can take a short moment of open intelligence, instinctively recognizing how any thought, emotion or sensation or what we call in balance view data streams are inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky. You can't put open intelligence here and thoughts and emotions or data streams here. They're inseparable, which means in a very simple and instinctive way, there's no problem anywhere. Okay, that's it. <laughs> you know, I, I looked at my life before Balanced View and it was kind of complicated. Why, why do I think negative thoughts? Why do I experience at times ups and downs? And we all share it, you know, even if you try to just be happy, happy all the time. For sure, there are moments of ups and downs. And then the means that we use to try to resolve that, they are very primitive and they don't really work. So if we speak about war zone or place that is not peaceful, we have to look at ourselves first of all. How many times did I blame myself for having the wrong thought or feeling, the wrong data stream? How many times did I try so hard to change it that I exhausted myself? You know, why, why, why? Why am I so flawed and limited? And everything around us, the belief systems and assumptions that we created as human society, they really point to the fact that we are flawed and we need, need to be fixed. Clean your karma, purify yourself. You're thinking wrong. Be stronger. Be more confident. Da da da. Repetition. Okay, whoa, what's going on? I'm, oh, I'm flawed. And for the rest of our life, we need to work on this project. So one of the main things that I came to know, I came to a Balance View meeting and the trainer was speaking, and she was an ex-psychologist. And um, she was speaking about how she doesn't need to analyze her thoughts and emotions in order to be happy. And I was like, <laughs> sure. You know, I was like, no way. <laughs> I never met someone like that, so it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's such a concept. So I came to her after the meeting, and that was really one of my first encounters with the training. And I, I came to her, like, you know, like one to one, and I said, "Tell me, do you, you really don't analyze your thoughts and emotions anymore?" And she said, "I don't need to do it." And she smiled like that, and I was like, Ooh, "Interesting, fantastic." And. Uh, <laughs> And more through a rebellious kind of nature, I wanted to prove that she was wrong, so I tested it in myself. That was my <laughs> kind of entering point into the complete relaxation of short moments. I wanted to prove that it doesn't work. So, so I listened to talks, which, you know, we talk about an empowerment network, how we can learn to ride this bicycle, or how we can learn to ride the wave of open intelligence benefit is like through taking short moments of open intelligence right now or whenever we remember to do so, exposing ourselves to the media that just speaks about how wonderful, exalted, powerful, how we can utilize our strengths, gifts, and talents to the benefit of... What are our strengths, gifts, and talents? When we are constantly on the watch of what we will think next, it's very limiting and it's hard to live a life of flourishing where we can contribute our mind, speech, body, qualities and activities to the benefit of all in a very practical and real down-to-earth way. So listening to talks is very supportive and um, participating in meetings like this, meetups, trainings like the one day that we will have today and immersing ourselves in a community of people, other people who share the same language and interest. So I did that and I found after a while and for me initially it was like I'll try it for 30 days, you know, like how you buy a software and you can still get your money back afterwards. So first of all, it's free. 
but um, I was like really making a because it was scary. How can I give up analyzing? How I can give up condemning myself? It didn't reach anywhere, but I don't know better. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it for 30 days and then decide whether I like it or not. Like anything, right? Anything at all. Uh, I can't tell you if I like knacker bread if I haven't tried it before. I like it. <laughs> and um, same with open intelligence. I learned to like it and it likes me. What, what, became, what became obvious that the results were so immediate, like in the midst of, a, sometimes, I don't know if anyone had it before, you have like dream and sleep and then suddenly the alarm clock and the first thing that comes up, like today a friend told me, I said, D would you like to wake up? And he said, no, I never want to wake up. <laughs> I never like it. And uh, so sometimes in the morning there's this strong feeling of, oh no, another day. <laughs> or maybe you wake up and you're totally cheerful, brushing your teeth and you're smiling and happy. That's also perfect. So this was like a first reminder for me, okay, I can actually take a short moment of complete relaxation and see what happens. And the results are amazing. It's immediate relief and immediate benefit right here and now. Stability from a kind that I never experienced before, because it's not about which data stream, data stream I have right now. It's any, anything is welcomed and open in complete perceptual openness. All data streams, they self-release like a line drawn in water. So I can write anger. I can write hatred. Happiness. Everything. The pure space of open intelligence remains. It, it doesn't lead, believe me, it doesn't lead to a state of passivity, which is the next question. If I relax so much and not be uptight and anxious, what will be left? Like my drive to succeed, to success, of success, uh, and, or, or to do things in life, what will remain? But it's not the case. All of this energy, beneficial potency, that was wasted into the spam of emphasizing our data, data streams, uh, now it's free to really be used as, as we want for the benefit of all. It's always beneficial. When we allow ourselves to shine and outshine all of our data streams, it's always beneficial. That, that's just the, you know, I can sit and it's just the case. <laughs> and that's what we try now and experience, because I thought if I will allow myself to be as I am, I'll, I might go mad, it will be too intense. But with the support of the Four Mainstays, I saw complete empowerment. I got to know, and I still get to know, what am I good at, what am I passionate about, and how I can contribute to a society of benefit. Because we see what's happening around. Whether we're in Stockholm, we can't be blind. Anything can happen at any moment. And also you had incidents here, not so far in the past, where violence, uh, and still, as we are speaking, there's violence everywhere. Violence everywhere. So we have to resolve it and take responsibility and to give up the right to be a victim of our data streams. To give up the right to be a victim. That's so empowering. And how do we do it? One short moment at a time. It's not complicated. It's not like this esoteric, complicated systems, I mean, that I read so much and you, you never really get it, but you hope to get it. It's, it's so, so confusing. I mean, I tried for so many years to find an answer and, and the purpose and meaning of my life and all of these big questions and then a short moment of open intelligence. Too easy, right? Must be more complicated, especially for those of us who like to think a lot. Think, think, think. Mm -hmm. Thinking. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm thinking right now, don't interrupt me. <laughs> Each one of us, uh, we are so unique and special, really, so unique, so precious. 
and I'm not sharing it as some kind of a hippie coming from, I'm a bit of a hippie, but, <laughs> you know, like, think that you are precious and special. It's just the preciousness of everyone, each one of us is so important to, to recognize and to nourish and to find a way that we can really utilize it to the betterment of the world. And so that's the social change aspect of, of this training, that we find that we stand up for something so important. No longer just going along because we need to go along and comply to the rules and regulations of, of a reified society. We really make the, the society that we want to see, that includes everyone. It doesn't exclude anyone. It doesn't ex exclude any data stream. As you practice in, in short moments in open intelligence, you see that your data streams are quite interesting. <laughs> and for me, I was so surprised to suddenly realize how angry I am, how desirous I am. I am. All the things that I didn't want to feel and think before, suddenly they came straight to my face. Gradually, right? Yeah. Sometimes not gradually, sometimes all at once. But then to know, okay, I have the short moments and I can rely on a trainer who knows how it is to live like that. Ask friends in the community, how did you outshine your anger? How, how are you able to be so stable and happy in the midst of circumstances that are difficult? <coughs> so all of this is completely available in the package of the Four Mainstays. It's a... Um, you can say in a very simple way, it's a, it's a skillful lifestyle choice. It's a simple life to, lifestyle choice where we can choose it or not. So I made the choice and this is what I can share with you, this confidence and assurance that came through relying on what Candice has provided to the world and all of us in Balance View are really dedicated to bring it about here in Stockholm and to communities worldwide.